welcome back to my channel so today's episode will be a house update um one of my viewers actually personally asked me if i can do a house update so yeah it's actually a viewer it's one of my uh close friends um it's my also my fitness coach or nutritionist instructor well he has many hats but i told him i would so 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 Here's my house update. So a lot of things have changed since two months ago when I probably did my last house update. Um, I did get um, some new things in um, from Ikea and one of me and my girlfriends, um, well, for me, it's a new find. For her, she knew about Action. It's this little discount store that she really likes to go to, but... I didn't pay no attention to because it actually sits next to one of my favorite stores, Danish Bedlager, which I have no idea what that means in German. But uh, it's a furniture slash decor store. And I had no idea that this action store um, actually sat on the other side of it. So <laughs> that was an interesting find. Um, but now it's become kind of a routine. We go in there to kind of check what they have in new and we came across these rugs now uh there's a picture popping up now of the idea i was going for yeah so this is very common in people's houses um especially people who live out in the woods or who live in colder climates or just for decoration people just love these fur like miniature rugs um and they kind of decorate them on chairs or they throw them on their couch they kind of use them as a very small area rug in their bedrooms. Or um, I've seen a couple of cases where people have actually used them on their bar stool chairs. So I actually got one because they only have one left. I wish I would have found them sooner. Um, and it was this kind of blackish gray one. So these are the rug things or the fur rug, miniature rugs. I am talking about this is what it looks like in full length um, just in case you wanted to see it I love the way they feel these are just gorgeous um and we actually seen this in the next color I'm about to show you and that's the color I kind of wanted but then I was like well this is the one we found first I was like maybe if I just get two of these um then I can keep the sequence going of keeping like things together but you know me i like to switch it up so i actually got one in this color and what i do is my bar suit chair you know i have that raw iron bar suit chair because i was going for that nordic sea when we went to the nordic sea and i love that um industrial look as you can tell by my light fixtures and stuff like that so i actually use it um to drape in my bar stool chairs and it's really become uh, something i really like i really like this style i've only seen it a few times um the picture i've shown you and there was a couple of pictures on pinterest but there wasn't many most of the people use them to throw them on like couches or chairs armchairs and this was the other color that i seen this is like um I guess like a sand brown, but isn't that gorgeous? So this is the color we originally seen. It was kind of mixture, more mixture. Um, and of course I will check um, to see if they have the mixture one, but doesn't really matter. I like that contrast that both of them bring to each other. And it's just a really cute look. Um, and it's comfortable as hell. Um, because I didn't want to put pillows here. You know, I had pillows on this, on this, um, 
on the bar stools before and they just slide because of that you know that raw iron there's nothing really there to grip them i didn't want to put i had like throws on them and then pillows and i didn't like that look either so i kind of left them bare for a while and my husband kept asking me he was like are you ever going to get cushions for those chairs and i was just like yeah but i was actually just looking for something different to do with them and I found it. Yes, that's my kitchen. Nothing new besides that my mother, my husband uh, got a water stream. So we drink a lot of water and he actually invests in a water stream. If you like bubbled water, which we do here out in Germany, is actually the norm. Still water, which is flat water, which is what I usually get out of faucet or stuff like that. Um, or when you buy flat water at your store, it's actually... Um, it's normal, but it's an, an option too. So the first thing you usually get in Germany is usually bubbled water. And I really like it. I've grown accustomed to really liking it very much. It's my way to get soda without drinking soda because soda, as you know, is very unhealthy for you. So um, you can get bubbled water if you put a teaspoon of honey in it and f uh, fresh lemon juice. It's literally drinking a soda, <laughs> literally. I'm telling you, I've done it. It's it's really good, um, which I will be starting to get back to because I'm going back to the gym starting um, next week when I start my new job. Yeah, I start my new job. That's also new, but that's neither here nor there. It's not a part of this house update. Um, but yeah, so that to do, um, don't mind little biscuits and cookies. That was from earlier. Um, but what I was saying is there has been a couple of editions. I got a couple of new books. Um, this is new, how I set that up. Um, the can is new. So the can actually came from another one of me and my girlfriend's stores that we like to go to and it's called Phillips. Um, and it was this beautiful can and it was like, we like, okay. So when me and my girlfriend go into the store, we kind of like wander through the store like nomads and like literally take the display stuff off the shelves. And that's what we buy. We don't actually, we go through the section that everybody goes through, but then we wander through the displays and we take the stuff that's on the displays and we buy it. So um, we've been there before and I've seen it before, but then I seen it again and I was like, that is a really beautiful can. Look at that detail on that. And my girlfriend was like really and i was like really it's a really beautiful can and took it to the cash register it was like two euro which is like two dollars and 69 cents <laughs> the lady at the cash register that was in the line before seeing me with this can and she was like where did you get that can and she's speaking all this in german remind you and i'm like you know telling her take a right go down take a right in german i'm saying this um and maybe she'll see another one so my girlfriend looks at me and she was like, Hope, you know there ain't no other one. <laughs> we walked through this store plenty of times and we never seen another can like that. I was like, well, maybe we missed it. Maybe there's another one. But she ain't getting this can. She can go look for other can, but she ain't getting this can. But um, I got this can. Um, and then I got some new books um, that I really, really like reading. Um, and I, I changed this because... I had a plant here at first and it was really nice, but I was like, I always wanted accessible books. I'm sorry. I'm dusting while I'm talking. Um, <laughs> I always wanted accessible books. Like when we're sitting down watching TV and I just want to read or look through one of my magazines or not magazines, one of my hardcover books, because I'm really hardly hard <laughs> into hardcover design books or fashion books. They have to be hardcover. I don't know what them. Um, and y'all know about my boxes, um, but those are not new. Um, that is not new, but it's new to y'all. Um, so yeah, so that completes my vase set, um, underneath that came from Zara home. Um, as you know, if you looked at any of my previous home videos, it's actually one of, um, my favorite stores um, for clothes and decor, but actually I've grown to love Zara more for its decor part rather than its clothes. Our favorite Zara store is in Amsterdam. If you ever go there, go check it out. Um, so that 
fairly new, but the can, definitely. Um, and so you get to see that boss. It's a pretty yellow. Love that. Um, so we got some new plants. Um, it's just a plant that from, from Ikea. It's fake. Um, when my real plants die, if they do die, I just replace some flake plants because I'm not killing any of my plants. Um, and it just fits very well there. You know, I redid this whole shelf. So these are picture frames that I brought from Ikea, which I, excuse me, I assumed would go in the wall in the hallway where we could showcase our North Sea pictures because my husband took some awesome black and whites. Um, but they're not big enough. My wall is way too big for these small frames. Now, I could have did a six series, but I didn't. I just want some, I want these kind of, I want this, this size, of oh, not this size, but this style, but way bigger. So I'm still looking for those. I thought Ikea had them, but they didn't really, I didn't really see any. So what I'm going to do, I gave one to a girlfriend at work um, and I put a little quote saying that I had at my desk for forever and she always wanted it. So I gave it to her, redid the quote into a nicer format and put it in a frame for her and she just loves it. She has it in her room. Um, this is new. Um, sorry, let me point in. So this is new. The horse picture is new. That's from Ikea. And that's from Ikea, that grand woman. <laughs> Love that. Now, y'all may be wondering why um, she's sideways. Because it was so tall that you couldn't put her upright. And I kind of like her sideways. It's a really, you would really have to be in my mind to see why I like it sideways. Um, but it's like she's holding up her knee and he decides to say that's the picture right there and he draws it it's just me so <laughs> this is new um the shelf we got from ikea as well um this came from ikea i love that black and white and i do like horses and i was like oh i really like that horse picture and my girlfriend actually had it at first and i said i told her i was like no i'm gonna get this because this i want that contrast of pictures um i love art um, <laughs> if you can tell, I do love art. Um, I would love to get some original prints. Um, maybe when we go to the States, I will find some really, really good prints. Um, I'm hoping to find some really good records, um, for my record player, some old classic records or some, some new classics, some nineties, like Blackstreet, maybe on LP. That would be awesome. Um, but this is redone over. So I redid this shelf. Um, as you can see, it's reorganized. Um, I am going to put a picture of us in there whenever I can go print out pictures. I got like stupid amount of pictures on my phone and they're just sitting there. So, so um, don't mind the wire at the bottom. That's my husband's. But I redid this because I really did want it to look junky. Like when I was sitting here looking at it one night and I was just like, yeah, I have a lot of nice eclectic things, but I didn't want it to look junky. Like I want a clean look. I want to still express myself, but I want it to look clean. So I actually did that one over and this one over. Doesn't look so much better. It's still me, but it's clean. Every piece speaks to itself. Um, Every piece has its own individual personality. Nothing's kind of like overshadowing another piece. Um, and I just love that ladder there. I, it's, <laughs> it's, my husband was like, can you actually get up on that thing? I said, actually, I can. To touch the top stuff, I can actually get up on this ladder. Um, I can use it as a functional ladder. Um, but yeah, so love the ladder there. Um, kind of reminds you of those houses where they have it on a, a, they have this kind of display of, um, objects on a huger scale and they actually have one of those long wooden ladders. That's what I plan to achieve in my house. Don't, don't discard. This is all ideas I'm transferring over to the house. 
I'm just doing it on a smaller scale here because it's a smaller apartment and to see how it comes together in a space. Um, so I need to see if I need to change anything or um, does something work better in a smaller space than it does in a larger space. All these things are in my head when I decorate and design rooms. So, okay, a little misstep with the furniture, with the couch. But other than that, it really came together in this room. Um, the chair... It's nothing new. Um, I just added a couple more blankets to my basket. That's the blankets we always use when we're like hanging out on the couch together watching movies. Um, but yeah, that's what else is actually new. Oh, my ducky. The duck is new. That's when I bought the can, I bought the duck. And the duck was on sale too. It was crazy. Like, my girlfriend said, every time I go to that store, anything I pick up is, like, discounted significantly. She doesn't know how I do it. She thinks I have some kind of, like, super card. And I keep telling her it's not. I like things. And it just so happens that in that store, when I like something, I was like, oh, well, let me just... I only go just see how much it costs. Like, hey, you know, how much is this? I don't want to tend to buy it. I just say, how much is this? That duck was, like, five euro. Like, seriously. And she was like, I don't understand. I don't understand how this keeps happening for you. So I was like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So that duck actually um, adds a really nice touch to the library. I call this, I'm calling this my library because that's what it really is. It's my version or my vision of what I think a home library should look like. Like, I still want all the books. But I want pieces that separate certain ideals or certain books with telling a story about me and my husband or about my personality or about my vision of how I see myself, the world, our relationship, things I hold personally dear to me, things that I'm really interested in, get excited. You can see all this in this wall display. You can you can literally see my my whole story and personality in this wall display. See, and now with that, I'm actually not finished because that uh, shelf is actually going to be another one on this wall, right there, and then I'm done. I really want a lot of art on the wall. Um, not a lot, but just certain pieces. So that wall where I'm actually looking for the same shelf just on that wall that shelf got a little damaged so what you do is we have some white paint and you just actually just put it on the edge so you can't really see it but it's a little chip there and due to me i'm sure um putting it together or putting it up um with my husband um he just had he just nails the wall <laughs> so yeah his 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 expertise is all like construction stuff I had the vision for like decor. So I didn't put my pillows um, on my couch like I usually do because I was cleaning and I was like, well, you know, they know that I have a very unique, um, eclectic pillow collection. As I told you, I use all different types of prints and all different types of, um, uh, looks to kind of signature my look um, that I'm going for and I didn't want it to be matchy matchy anybody who knows me knows that I do not like matchy matchy things um, and I want it to actually flow so people can see that you don't have to have all your pillows look alike like I was telling my girlfriend when I was helping her design um, pieces or parts of her house. I will do a video showing you what I did to her house um, or helped her do to her house rather. Um, and you don't have to, um, you don't have to have the same pillows all over. I mean, it's just as nice if you contrast. Contrast is good. Um, I did keep certain styles the same, but 
that's about it. I didn't like, you know, <laughs> make sure all the pillows were like the same. Um, yeah, so this is my couch and this is not new or updated, but um, there's a lot of pieces that I got that I wanted to show you, like the fur that now drapes over my bar chairs, the water stream, my beautiful flower metal can, my great lady, that's what I'm calling her, um, some of the prints. Um, oh, and I got some more fake plants. That one up there is a fake plant. Um, the bell inside of the dome is one of my favorite bells I brought in Georgia. And I had this dome and I been searching for them so long and I had a spare that I was using for something else and I just didn't want to use it for that anymore and I was like oh bad spot to put a live plant but great spot to put a fake plant that's another thing you don't have to do real plants in your house if you don't want to if you have spots in your house that are not getting enough light not getting enough um central uh, central air meaning a nice um, rotation of clean air coming through or it's just in a bad spot where it's too high and it dries out like that is a bad spot for a life plant so you put plants like that fake um bad spot for life plants um we could put herbs up there but they kept dying because it's just in a bad it's too high and it's not getting enough light and stuff like that and i was like well i'm not giving up on my my chandelier um light i've been wanting that chandelier light for a very long time and our good friends brought it for us for a wedding gift so i'm keeping the light so i was like i gotta figure out something so putting fake plants up there was definitely useful because these are spots that plants really can't grow unless you have a really really um open house where you have a lot of sunlight come in um and you've done it before and your plants have survived then by all means but if you they die then maybe you need to switch getting a fake plant you can either get the silk fake plants which are gorgeous they're a little little pricey but they are gorgeous that way it can look as real as it can be but you don't have to worry about it it won't die because why keep killing plants right because we don't want to do that so yeah um definitely get um fake plants to replace real plants in places in your house where you know that they won't survive in so that is my updated house um especially in the living room nothing else has changed in my house um you have seen my outdoor my hallway still the same bathroom still the same bedroom still the same but my living room has had some additions to it so i did promise one of my viewers and one of my closest friends that i would do a house update this saturday see i did it maurice you happy so <laughs> Um, yes, this is Hope's living room. Oh, um, another thing I got, <laughs> um, from Ikea is this, excuse me, I dropped it, is this wreath. Um, see, so I still got a tag on. Um, I'm actually going to put this, um, on my door once fall really takes shape and actually found some vine fake vine green leaves to put around it so this is still a work in progress um right now i just keep it here on the table like that and this is on with my little basket oh. this is this is fairly well it's not new but i got this this is like a little side table so it looks like that just forgot about that so usually we eat here. I don't know why we never eat at the bar because we wanted the bar so, well, I wanted the bar so bad, like at the cooktop and stuff like that. But I really, excuse me, I really eat there. You know what I'm saying? So we used to eat at this little coffee table and I was like, well, I just want a little wooden stool to kind of like offset um, this glass table because it was like kind of looking kind of bare um, and I could just tuck it under so it's kind of out the way 
and that's pretty cool i like that and it's a little table that i can use to put my coffee or my tea on or whatever so i don't have to put it on the glass so yeah so oh and that's from zara home as well but i will um leave the links yeah can't leave the link to the can but ikea i will say what i brought from ikea i will leave links because you could just look for fake plants um unless you want me to then i will um but i'll probably leave the links for two of the fake plants that i brought and just go check out the website i would definitely leave the link for this um the fur rugs i can find a website where you can look at some and see if you want to use it in your home so i will leave a link to a random kind of interior design website that i use um to just look to see what stuff they have and you can check it out uh and i think that's about it the duck can't leave a link for that so because it's from local german <laughs> stores the soda stream is from amazon you can go check that out um but other than that that is my show today giving you a house update in one part of my house which is my living room which it seems to be the most part of the house where um i mostly put my input as far as my insight of decor and a lot of the other parts of my house already set i mean my bedroom is probably the only room that um I would like to do more in, but it's too small, so I'm kind of good with the way it is. My bathroom, um, I'm good with the way that is. It's not that fabulous, but it's it's nice, and it works for us. I mean, if I find some kind of addition, it probably won't be very big. Um, I wanted to put some prints on the wall. I think I might do that um, above the toilet, so if that happens, I'll definitely get back with you. Hallway still looking for my big round mirror um i was gonna do the huge mirror that i have in the hallway now i was gonna do that that huge beautiful mirror that gorgeous i was going to do that here in this open space so that's gonna come down obviously but i decided i wanted a big round kind of 3d so it's it's a brown mirror but it has it's it has an over overlay i guess i can't explain it but it is a round mirror but the frame around it it's wooden and it kind of shadows over the mirror a little bit it's really pretty um i think i have a picture popping up now to kind of what i'm talking about so that's what i mean um, kind of looking for that for that space to complete the hallway um, but who knows when I'm gonna get it in but I am on the hunt where I am keeping my eye out for sales and deals and seeing if I can come across it um, of the prints in the hallway definitely will show you an update of that once that happens of course I have to either go back to Ikea and see if they have the picture frames or find them so that I can do the prints on the hallway wall. But other than that, my house is pretty much set, guys. This is this is what it is. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, obviously leave the comments below. And I always check my comments and get back to people. So definitely do that. As always, thank you. <laughs> thank you for tuning in to me every Saturday. I know. I try to do it on Saturdays. I am saying I'm going to do it. And if I don't, I try to write and do an apology video that, you know, my show won't air. But I will continue to do these until I get better at them um, and structure them more. <laughs> Definitely structure them more. So thank you for your support and have a great, great, great Saturday. Peace.